Okay, this is the representation. See here, 300, 100 blocks 3, tens blocks 4 and 1's block 2. Okay, 300, 300 means, 3 blocks means 300, 4 blocks means 400 and so on. So, 300, 4, 10 blocks means 40, 340 and how many single blocks? 2, so 342. Okay, uh, now uh, let us see. Can you write down 667 on the abacus? Okay, let us see. You have to help me to write down. Okay, will you help me? You are very good children. Okay, you should say and I will write the answer. Ones, tens and hundred. This line represents one's place, this is tens place and this is hundred place. Okay, now on the hundred uh, bead, hundred place, how many beads should be entered? Okay, very good. Six. We have to keep six beads, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, super. Okay, now, tens. How many tens? How many tens are there? This is the tens place. This middle one is the tens place. How many tens are there? Six tens are there. So, how many blocks? Six tens means how many? Six blocks, right? Six tens means six blocks. So, how many beads we have to uh, represent on the line? Six. So, one, two, three, four. 5 and 6. Okay, now last one. Units place or ones place. How many? 7 ones. Is it like this single pieces? How many are there? 7 there. 4. Like this 7 there. So we have to put how many beads? We have to represent 7 beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is 660. So, if the abacus is given, you can write down the number. Or other ways, if the number is given, you can represent that on the abacus. Okay, now can you tell me which number it represents? Okay, we have to count up the number of digits in each place. So, right. That means number of beads in each place. So, we have to count. First of all, we have to count the number of beads in the hundred place. How many are there? Super nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine. Okay. So in the tens place, how many beads are there? Okay. That also nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, in one's place, how many uh, bits are there? That also 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, this 999 is the standard form of this number. Okay, 999. How to represent this 999 in the expanded form? Okay, 9 in which place? This 9. Beads in which place? In hundred place. So we will write nine hundred. So we can write it like this also. Okay. Plus uh, in tens place we have to see the next one. Tens place. How many beads are there? Nine beads are there. Right. So nine tens. Nine tens. Okay, 9 times means 9. Next. Next 9. That means on the 1's place how many beads are? That also 9. So, 9 ones Plus 9. Right. So, this is the expanded notation of the number. And if the, if the expanded notation is given and the standard for me, says you have to write down like this. That also one more question. Okay, now tell me. 
900. We have to represent 900 on the abacus. Uh, can you see? Okay. 900. Where we have to represent this 9? On the 1's place or on the 100's place? Yes. In the 100th place. So how many beads we have to write? 9 beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Then what about 10's place and 1's place? There is no 10's place and 1's place. 0. So no need to write any beads on these lines. Okay, only 100 be 100 place, there will be 9 beads in 10th place and in 1's place, there will not be any bead. So, this is the representation for 900. So, what is the expanded form of 900? 900 plus, we can write either 0 tens. Plus 0 ones. If not writing also, this will be sufficient for 900. Okay, understood? Now we will write down the standard form of this expanded form. Okay, to write down the standard form, first of all we will look at the hundred space. So, what is the number here? 600. 600 we have to write 6 only. In the hundred space. Next to 70. We have to write a 7. And next to one's place we have to write 7. So what is the number? 677. Why didn't we write hundred zeros there? Because hundred is the place value of it. 6 into hundred. In hundreds place there will be 6 blocks or 6 bits. Or in 70 means in the tens place, there will be 7 bits or 7 blocks. In the ones place, there will be 7 blocks or 7 bits. So, we have to represent, uh, we have to show only these digits. Okay, 677. So, what will be the number here? 9 and tens place, nothing is there. And ones place, 5 is there. So, 100 place, 9. Then, what about the tens place? What we will write? Okay, there is no tens place. There is no number in the tens place. So, you have to put 0. Okay, one's place is 5. And the next one. Uh, here, there is no one's place. Then what about this number? 400. And tens place, what is there? The number 6 is there. Then unit place, any number is there? No number there. No number means we will put 0. If there is no number, what do you have to put? Zero. Here you see, in the tens place, there is no number. So what did we do? We put zero. If there is no number in that place, in that place value, in that particular place value, we have to put zero in that place. So here zero and here one's place is not there. That is what we put zero in the one's place. So in this way, we... We can write the standard form. If the standard form is given, we can write the expanded form in it. Okay? Did you understand? Okay. So, when we are reading a number, we should know how many bits in the ones place, how many bits in the tens place, how many in the hundreds place. So, these places are very important. Ones place, tens place, hundred place. Like that only know when we are drawing the abacus. We take 1's place, 10's place, 100's place. So, 1's place, 10's place, 100's place. This representing the places in this way is called a place value chart or place value table. Okay, did you understand? What is this? Place value table. Suppose if I write here, uh, 1's under 1, 3, 4, 6. What is this number? Under 100's place there is 6, under 10's place there is 3, under 1's place there is 1. So what is the standard form of this number? 631. So if you know the places, 
If you know the place values easily, you can write down the number. So, this is 1's place, 10's place, 100th place. So, what is the 1's place? 1. 10's place? 3. And 100th place? 6. Okay, now let us see. If the number is 999, okay. How we represented already, I told you how to represent. 9 beats in the uh, 100th place, 9 beats in the 10th place and 9 beats in the 1th uh, place. 999 after number or otherwise when we add 1 into that, it will become 1000. Right. So, in 1000, how many 10s are there? Sorry, how many 100s are there? There are 10 hundreds. How many hundreds are there in thousand? Ten hundreds. Whenever it is becoming ten, we are going into the next line. Right or not? So here, nine hundred and ninety-nine. We represented the number like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. When one is added here, right? When one more, one number, when one is coming here, when one uh, bead is coming here, we cannot represent that bead in this place. Instead, what we will do? We will cancel this all and we will add it up to here. But here also there are 9 beads. Right? So we, since there are 9 beads, when we add that 1 bead, this 1, this 10, when there are uh, 10 ones, that means it is becoming 1 10. So that 1 10, when it is adding again here, this is also going to become 10 times. So that is also not possible. So in such cases what we will do? When it completes 10, what we will do? We will add that number to the next one. Right? So now when we are adding here, see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This also becoming 10. So, this is also not possible. Whenever 10 is completing, what we will do? We will start another line. Okay? We will add another line. So, this another line we will represent that one bit. Did you understand? So, this is the thousand place. Which place it is? Thousands place. So, once tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay, this is the representation of 1000. What is this number? 1000.